Alright, yet again welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Tinted or Gracious. Hopefully you are okay wherever you are watching us from. There are protests that have erupted in Caracas over the dispu uh, disputed election results and in Caracas, Venezuela, unrest has surged following the controversial results of the recent, recent uh, uh, presidential election. Images emerging from the capital depict a chaotic scene with riot police uh, clashing with the demonstrators who have uh, taken to the street in protest. The election results which uh, declared Nicolas Maduro the winner with 51% of the vote against his rival former diplomat Edmundo Gonzalez have been met with widespread uh, skepticism. The government controlled electoral authority announced has not raised any doubts among the Venezuelans. Uh, the government-controlled electoral authorities' announcement has not only raised doubts among uh, Venezuelans but also attracted international criticism. United States have uh, voiced serious concerns, suggesting that the results may uh, not reflect the genuine, uh, the genuine will of the Venezuelan uh, electorate. The U.S. officials have called for a fair and transparent counting process, urging the election officials provide detailed information to opposing groups and independent observers. Similar skepticism have been expressed by several Latin American countries, including Colombia, as well as uh, by the European nations such as Spain and Italy. Um, Alejandro Pena, a former presidential candidate who now lives in exile in Europe, has condemned the results, claiming they have uh, uh, indicated, inducted of a large pattern of electoral fraud under Maduro's regime. Elacos highlights the dire humanitarian situation in Venezuela, where millions have fled the country due to the ongoing crisis, further fueling pu uh, public outrage. In Caracas, the protests have escalated with demonstrations burning tires and clashing with the riot police. The streets have become a battleground with protests throwing stones and emerging in violent confrontation with the law enforcement. The city has uh, witnessed a series of motorcycle rallies and other forms of protest aimed at challenging the legitimacy of the election results. The response from the government has uh, been swift and forceful Riot police have been deployed in large numbers and their efforts to control and surpass the demonstrations has failed. The current turmoil in Venezuela raises significant questions about the future of the country's political landscape. Analysts are concerned about the potential prolonged instability and violence if Maduro remains in power despite widespread allegations of election fraud. The situation in Venezuela also has a broader implication for the international community, particularly from neighboring country, countries and global powers involved. So, tell me what you think. Is Maduro right that to be the president or he needs to stand down? That's the news with me, Tinta Del Gracious. I'll be giving you the news. Please subscribe to this channel. Um, the latest is coming from me and... Uh, uh, from Venezuela there. Thank you so much. We meet again in our next episode.